In this lecture, we'll be discussing theories of social change and we'll be covering the cyclical theory, ideological theory and pendulum theory. So let's start with cyclic theory. The cyclic theory of social change says that society changes from one stage to another. This is very evident because change is inevitable. But what happens is after the change, after it has gone to another stage, it comes back to its previous position. So we can compare the cyclic theory of social change to the quote, history repeats itself. You know how fashion keeps on coming back. The polka dots that the uh, actresses used to wear in the 80s and 90s, they're, they're, that has come back in fashion. So this is uh, what happens in cyclic theory also. It comes back. Second theory is the cyclic theory. In this theory, we are going to study Indological theory, which is based on Indian mythology. So it starts with the Satyug, goes to Treta Yug, then Dwapar Yug and then comes Kaliyug and after Kaliyug again we go back to Satyug and the cycle proceeds like this. Next is the challenge and response theory given by Arnold Toyanbi in his book The History of Man. He said that there are three stages of social change. In first change where there, uh, there are a lot of problems in the world what happens is some people who are very rational, who are very creative, who have a lot of ideas known as creative minorities, they respond to those challenges very efficiently and the society or the world, it comes out of that challenge. In the second stage, they are not as much enthusiastic, they lose the enthusiasm and zeal and what happens as a result, there are a lot of ups and downs in the society. In the third stage, because of so much havoc and ups and downs, the society is finished. Then what happens? When that society is finished, new society develops and new society is born in other words. So, society goes through three stages, namely birth, maturity and death. And this cycle keeps on repeating itself. The next theory is given by Pen is given by Pitram Sorokin. It is called the Pendulum Theory of Social Change or the Saturation Theory of Social Change. In his book, The Cultural Dynamics, he talked about this kind of social change where there is a movement of society towards two extremes. Now just imagine a pendulum. You know, it will first go to its extreme left come back to the center, then move to its extreme right and come back to the center. And this keeps on repeating. He studied this in the history of Roman society. He talked about the cultural theory of social change and said that there are three types of culture. First is the ideational culture. This type of culture is dominated by the spiritual world or otherworldly things like purity and other worldly other things, spirituality and everything. The second culture is sensate. This is dominated by materialism and pleasure. It is the kind of society that we are living in today because we are all running towards consumption and materialism and pleasure. Now he said that in between these two cultures is the idealistic culture which is ideal in nature and it is the midpoint between the other two. You can also refer to this diagram of pendulum theory where on the extreme left is the sensate or the materialistic culture. In the center is the idealistic culture which is integrated. Integrated means it has components of both the cultures and on the extreme right is the ideational or spiritual culture. So what happens when the pendulum or the society is in the extreme left that is sensate then it comes in the middle which is idealistic then it moves forward to ideational and comes back to idealistic that means this integrated culture this always becomes a part of the movement as it falls in the center this theory was criticized on various grounds like it was said that this is more of a speculative theory than a realistic theory because 
एटीट्यूड कैन नॉट बी मेजर्ड द एटीट्यूड ऑफ द कल्चर इन सेंसेट आइडियलिस्टिक एंड आइडियशनल इट कैन नॉट बी मेजर्ड दे फोर इट इज नॉट ईजी टू वेरीफाई वॉट इज द सैचुरेशन पॉइंट वेन विल द एटीट्यूड और वेन विल द कल्चर सैचुरेट एंड देन मूव बैक और मूव फॉरवर्ड सो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड दैट आउट द सेकेंड क्रिटिसिजम इज Sorokin has talked about natural changes that occur but in reality what happens there is a lot of external influences also which are heterogeneous and he has not taken those into consideration third is the changes which are directed and consciously brought and moved deliberately are introduced in the society but even these points are missed by sorokin he did not mention any any of those points in his theory but regardless of this criticism we can say that it is a representative theory of social change and it is also a representative theory of cyclical theory of social change although there are some limitations in this theory and verification is not possible calculation is not possible we cannot measure but on the basis of observation we can tell what kind of attitude is dominating the society for example in the society today we know that we are so obsessed with the latest gadgets with the latest fashion so we can tell by this uh, observation that what kind of society we are living in today but again the quantity it cannot be verified only the qualitative measures can be verified on the basis of some observation according to raymond aro it is impossible to quantify sorokin's theory but simultaneously it has an advantage that it can be understood very easily let's discuss some questions now who among the following has considered that history fluctuates between two kinds of culture sensate and ideational during the phase of social change so this has been said by sorokin in his theory of pendulum change where he has talked about two cultures where history fluctuates between sensate and ideational next is culture according to sorokin is we know that we can tell what attitudes are dominated in the culture so what this culture really is so of thinking held by members of the society at a particular time it is a set of attitudes also and the actions reflected by attitudes in daily life therefore answer will be option d